Okay, yard sale, Serena here with Uncle Vinti, the Vintage Tool Man, with a yard sale show for November the 12th. Well, this week, a lot of the items came from Goodwill, and then just a couple of yard sales. So, I guess let me start off with the Goodwill finds. This is a reproduction oak bow front display case. It does have a few problems, but Uncle Vintage will be able to remedy those. I paid $28 for this, and I will probably sell this, and I'll ask $100 for this. Also at Goodwill, they had a ton of antiques. I missed out on a few, but I got a few. It was this really nice Lane trunk. I actually wrote to the company with the model number, sent them some pictures because the serial number is off of it, unfortunately. And they told me this was from the late 20s or early 30s. Really nice cedar-lined trunk. I paid $40 for it. This was a Goodwill find. It's a vintage 80s dough bowl that somebody painted with some folk art. Kind of cute. I paid $2.40 and for that. I paid a couple of dollars for this. I just think this is really cute. It's a little cart for kids to play with. Put a doll in there or some groceries. Shopping cart. Shopping cart. Yeah, I thought it was really cute. Also at the Goodwill, I picked this thing up. I think I, I paid maybe $4 for this. I was going to plan to use it for compost. And I looked online, and believe it or not, that's what it is. It's a kitchen compost container and it's made of ceramic and you can buy biodegradable bags that you put in there, put your compost in, just makes the job a little bit neater. How much? I said four bucks, four dollars. Okay, and it cost twenty. Oh, oh, online it was thirty dollars, thirty dollars for this thing online. I got a, a mortar and pestle, I paid five dollars, actually four dollars for that. If you go on Wednesdays, it's twenty percent off. Uh, also with Goodwill, a couple of neat pieces of art. This one is called Steeplechase Pier. This is from the 1800s, or a picture depicting the 1800s, painted by a man named Charles Brandy Brandenburg. It's signed by the artist and numbered. It's 413 out of 700. But this is in Atlantic City. And this particular painting was commissioned by Donald Trump. I paid six dollars and forty cents for that. I'm sure that's worth uh, at probably about a hundred bucks. Then let me bounce you around over here. This is a, a real watercolor. It's by an American artist named Ira Smith. He lived and painted over in the Caribbean islands and I looked online, I saw similar pictures with the same kind of rustic frame, maybe a little more in depth. They had some island people in there selling for $600. I paid $28 for this and I would value this around two to $300. So I think I did really well on that. Okay, yesterday at a yard sale, it's actually up the street from us, very sad story we have Walked, walked our dogs past this gentleman's home numerous times, but apparently his son-in-law talked him into getting a reverse mortgage. Stepson. Stepson, sorry, not son, stepson. Talked him into getting a reverse mortgage and took all the money and squandered it. So it's quite a sad story. But anyway, I found this really neat old treadle sewing machine there, and he was asking 50, and I ended up giving him $50 for it, one for the circumstance, but another because these sewing machines sell. They, they're, they sell for at least $100 just for the machine. And this brand, it says Joy. It does work, the treadle works, it turns, it needs the belt to be put on there. But uh, we had never heard of the brand Joy. So we decided to get it. I looked online and I haven't found anything, but I wrote to one of the old sewing machine collecting clubs and hopefully they'll get back to me and let me know a little bit about the history of this particular company. That's some neat carved drawers. Oh, the yeah. The drawers. And the handle, yeah. The drawers are neat. It does, the outside case does need a little bit of work. 
but we have some that are in a lot worse case and the reason we bought it was we like the base we like the drawers we like the machine and the fact that it's joy and oh it has a really unique bobbin doesn't it's almost like a, a shuttle, shuttle. Mm. it's it's so we we suspect it's a very old sewing machine i'll get back to you and let you know i think that's it for me is that it for me uncle vinti we well, got a sundial oh yeah, we at, at that same yard sale, we got a number of different items. We did get a sundial. I think I paid a dollar for that. I got a funky hat. <laughs> I had bought an old chest from them at one of their previous yard sales. This neat old vintage hat. She gave it to me for 50 cents. I got a, another old rusty old set iron I paid three dollars for. And I think that is that is it for me. I'll let you cover the rest of it, Uncle Vinti. Okay. Where would okay. you like to pick up? Why don't we start with this? Oh, the cool thing. Yeah. This this is a, an antique drill press. Can you hold it up? Oh, that's perfect. Maybe it, turn it to the side so we can see it from all. Oh. It can be motorized and run run the belt. You have to remove remove the handle to do that, or you're going to get hit with it. It works. I've cleaned it up and, and greased it. it. It turns rather nicely. It it does have a s automatic feed see it moving. This is run automatic. You flip this up and it'll kind of ratchet. It'll automatically feed it down. Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah. So anyway, we paid $15 for that and it's worth somewhere around $100. Now we saw them. What were they asking online? Some of them are up 300 I 300 yeah we i'm sure but 100 sounds about right this it doesn't have a brand name on it but it does have initials and a number so yeah, we'll we'll be able to find that with a little some, more investigation harder. yeah uh, we got an old sander that's like a vintage sander yes, let me my see my dad had one just like this when i was a kid hold i don't know up. i don't know if you can still get the rolls or not of sandpaper hold it up on the top so i the, so i can see the little it says it's there. number 12 sander. number 12 sander Yes. How cute is that? All right. All right. We paid a dollar. For that, that was a dollar. You got a bunch of items dollar for a dollar. He, he was fast. I, I bought a. Oh. This is a brick masonry hammer. That's kind of a unique. For a dollar, it's different. So I bought that. Um, got two saws. <laughs> We've got a lot of saws lately. Got a saws. I I've got a collection of these now. Tur turn them around so you see the good side. The handles. The handles okay. are nice. No. There. there. Okay. Turn this one around too. There, there. Distance. Pretty, pretty handles, and the handles are, uh, are in good shape, and the they saw were, is not so bad. They actually. were a dollar each. Can't. He Can't gave us gave us some yard some sticks. Yard sticks. This this was the uh, same cell we bought the uh, the uh, sewing so machine from, and two clamps. Uh, these were also a dollar each. These are 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 the Jurgensons. Jorgensen, 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 yeah. okay. And about a bunch of sandpaper. There's quite a few sheets of it. Two dollars for that. And I got an oil can. A dollar for that. Need that's a neat old oil can. And and the funnel. I think he just threw he that gave in. the funnel in to us. And then at another yard sale, I got five quarts of oil. Five W thirty. It's some older oil. But I can I can use it for something. In the lawnmower, can you use it you, in the lawnmower? Well, it's five W thirty. I can I can use it. How much did she charge you? Was it a, do a dollar? A dollar of. A they're and they're full. They're full, yes. And then you got this too. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. That's kind of a neat thing. Yeah. This is a, a clothes hanger, and I'm being green. He yeah. does. Trust me, he hangs his clothes up all over I the house. So this will be good, and it's very stable. It's, it's very made stable. out of it's metal. It's nicer than than the wooden one I have. Yeah, very nice. So. Okay. So that's it for the yard sale show for the November the 5th, wasn't it? No. No, no, no. It's the 12th. 12th, that's right. 2011. Do that again. That's it for the yard sale that's show. That's it for the yard no, sale. No, no, no. Wait until I stop talking and then do it. Okay. Go. That's it for the yard sale show for November the 12th, 2011. See you next week. We'll be back next week with more yard sale finds. Actually, we'll be, no, no, no. We'll be here next week. One last item that we bought yesterday, we forgot about it. This is a Workmate 400 workbench, and I paid five dollars for it. It's worth probably around fifty bucks. And it was new in the box. It you had to put it together. You had to put it together. 
Workmate 400. By Black & Decker. Yeah, you have another one, but I you have, said you like this one better, maybe, or not so yeah, much? It's about or? the same. Okay. I think I like my 300 better, but this is okay. This is a 400. Yeah, but for five bucks, come on. Five bucks, this is good. All right, okay. So that really is it for the show. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye.